Brother Branham said if you had gave him an opportunity to serve God at 25, 50, or 75, he'd take the 75 because you know what to do. I'm happy to say that I have more opportunities to serve the Lord today than I ever have in my life. I'm waiting now to get the strength back to, to be able to make some more trips. I haven't been anywhere in four and a half years after traveling two million miles, or three million miles, 135 countries, and friends like you. It's pretty hard for me to stay home. The Lord has given me some wonderful help. I've got Brother Caleb and three other brothers that help me. I do, I do what I can, but they more or less take care of the church. And I'm just sitting and watching God's Word come to pass. You know, Brother, Brother Branham gave us many prophecies that we still haven't seen come to pass. One of those was he said, watch when Russia goes down after the oil. And Sunday, Mr. Putin, the president of Russia, yeah. he talked to the president of Iran, the king of Saudi Arabia, Saud of Syria, the government of, of Iraq. You were very good at And that controlled 75% of the oil of the world. First time that Russia has tried to get those together. Just another sign that, uh, look up, our redemption draweth nigh. Amen. Prophecy is being fulfilled. The word I get from the Lord in my spirit is I, I'm I feel like an angel of the Lord told me here a few weeks ago to tell everybody to be ready. And if I have any word for you to take back to the people of Brazil is that tell them I said be ready. We've been saying, we've been saying it for decades, but I believe it's going to happen. Be ready. And I, I know you folks have made quite a personal sacrifice financially and physically to come to Arizona to see the sites where God visited Brother Branham. But you could come and see them. God did visit this generation. He sent us a mighty prophet. Amen. Amen. And I feel like I was honored among men to have been a part of that plan. The tape of Brother Branham's at church last night. Brother Branham preached June the 8th, 1955. Two or three pages of that tape. In the first three or four pages of that sermon, he talked about the meeting in Houston where the picture was taken of the pillar of fire over his head. You know, he said many times that the Lord honored him by letting his picture be made with him. Of all the pictures we have, that's probably the most supernatural one we have. You folks saw the profile at sunset today. That's supernatural. Many other, and many other people have their profile on a mountain when the God put it there and no man put it there. Yeah. Yeah. All the places and of all the places for it to be, it's right there, Brother Brown, I'm looking up where the angels came down to. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that doesn't make us believe, but we that believe it, it, it encourages us. When I was 16 years old, I was in that meeting when that picture was taken. As far as I know, the only believer that's a living witness to that. Bragging about it, it doesn't make me more important than anybody else. It makes me responsible. So I just want to be a faithful witness of what I saw and heard. But when I was reading that tape this week, I'm impressed how Brother Branham said that whenever Dr. Bess, that Baptist preacher, and for that debate, Brother Branham told Brother Bosworth, Oh no, no, don't do that. Leave him alone. He can't believe. He has nothing to believe on. They went through that about three times. And Brother Branham told him, no, leave it alone. But when Dr. Bess said, the Bible don't teach it, Brother Branham gave Brother Bosworth permission to defend the scriptures. Brother Branham told Brother Bosworth it was okay to debate him to defend the scriptures. And, of course, the debate took place. The photographer took the pictures. All the others were blank. That one turned out to be supernatural. Yeah, the only one out. that the photographer was able to take. And Dr. Best, who, I mean, Dr. Uh, Lacey, who examined it, told Brother Branham that uh, he may not live, but that picture would be a witness. Paul says in Hebrews 9, yeah. if there be any strength to the testament, it's after the death of the testator. And, and we see that to be true. My question that I gave the congregation last night, what if that debate had not taken place? We wouldn't have that photograph. And it is the most supernatural one we have. But Brother Branham said that while he was there in the meeting, the pillar of fire came and made the sound. The Lord told him to go down. And he talked to Dr. Best. And today we have the photograph. But Brother Branham told Dr. Bosworth, Brother Bosworth, no, don't do it. 
Brother Bosch was contained, was taken. And today we have the witness. And Brother Bram says, just think, the Lord himself came down and allowed his picture to be made with me. It's the way I feel. So many things that have happened. We, we didn't know what we were doing. God knows how to be a witness to it. Me coming to Tucson. So I didn't know I was following the leadership of the Lord. Until Brother Branham said, so glad Brother and Sister Green followed the leadership of the Holy Ghost. The leadership of the Holy Ghost. I heard Brother Branham say that. I said, is that what I did? You people being here, you did that because you felt led to do something. Maybe you don't know why you did it. If you have the Holy Ghost, follow the leadership of the Spirit. It's evidence you're children of God. Seed of Abraham. Scripture says you're blessed 1,000 times more than other people. How many thousands of people in Brazil would like to be here right now? And see what y'all have seen today. You participate in what you're going to see tonight. And, and so I encourage you to be good witnesses. Go back and testify to what you see and hear. Spread the light. Put the seed out. Encourage somebody else with it. If you're following the leadership of the Holy Ghost. What a blessing. Look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. To pass and to give you thanks for everything you have done for our country since 1975. It's been an honor. How good was it when we were just starting uh, in the message uh, about conduct, order, and doctrine? Okay. Many things that we're doing today is because you brought how Brother Bena used to do in his church. This because we didn't know anything about it. Since then, we have you as a real witness of God. It's uh, so precious for us to have someone that have been very close to Brother Bennett, as you did. I privilege uh, to, to thank you for all the support you gave us to print uh, the Supernatural series. Janice, he and his sons are the ones who translated the Supernatural books. Yeah. 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 Nós, nós we have done more than 7,000 books. Wow. Uh, most of these books we, we, give we, we gave That means free. tens of thousands of those books. Yeah. People have read the story. Yeah, yeah. 7,000 of each, uh, each volume. Yeah. Pray for Brother Owen. He has prostate cancer. Yeah. I think that you received from uh, you, brother, uh, that uh, CD with all the photos from Brother Brennan. And he printed that album. Yeah. Uh, I to if I had my way, I'd go home with you. It would be an honor to receive you. Not only me, but many ministers would like to, to have you back. We heard that you were very ill. We gather all the church to pray for you. Uh, to, I told your testimony. Prayed and God allowed us to come back and meet you here. Uh, your health has been fully uh, reestablished. No, uh, no. So we can take you again to Bonito. And my, go rafting. My, de my desire is is that uh, uh, I'm not dying with cancer. Um, I'm just getting old. Amen. 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 It's, it's a great pleasure for you to come with me. I'll come back. Is there any pouco amigo? Well, was there years ago with, with me when the children were small. We came to see Archie Martin at uh, Campanas. First time we came, the seven. She was with me then. In the meantime, I guess Brother Kelly Hildebrandt's been back several times, huh? What's his name? Kelly Hildebrandt from, from ah, up there. Ah, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly yeah, Hildebrandt. From Brother Kelly. Ah, Kelly. See, yes, see. he went there. He's come up there. His wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Marie. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah, I introduced them to uh, the yeah. Brazilian yeah. brothers yeah. six or seven years ago up at Cloverdale. He was precious. Brother Kelly is a wonderful yeah. brother. Yeah. 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 Give my love and greetings to everybody. Ricardo, Brother Joe King's son, if anybody contacts him, tell him we... Ricardo lived here with us on his property. Did he? Yeah. He stayed here for... He lived with us here. He lived with us here for 14 months up there in that house. How's Brother Joe King's health? He's old, too. And, and Brother Rodriguez was here a few months ago. I saw him. Brother Rodriguez, Neville's father. I call him Rodriguez. What do y'all call him? It's uh, Febronio. <laughs> Febronio. It's the first name. Yeah. Febronio. Neto. Me too. I'm smaller. I'm <laughs> lost. <laughs> I've lost about 63 pounds. Yeah. I won't lose another one. That's not because I was sick. It's just because I don't eat as much. <laughs> if I if I felt like exercising, I'd lose another 40 or 50 pounds. Yeah. Pray for me now. I just want you to pray that I will believe what you have already asked the Lord to do for me. 
I believe that I am totally healed, restored. I just want to believe what you have already asked God to do for me. E eu só quero crer mais naquilo que eu já te digo. Uh, you said something about that microphone that Brother Bruno was when the pillar of fire came. Caleb, when you take him to the church, show it to him. Okay. It's in my office. Caleb will show okay. it to you when he That's takes you to the church. Yeah. If you don't mind your camera being broken. <laughs>